Hello YouTube, this is Generic JD, or just JD, and it is space time! Space! Yes, today we have the brand new Henshin Belt Deluxe Fours Driver from the new series Common Rider Fours, also known as Common Riders in Space. Um, I do want to apologize first off if you hear crickets in the background. There are some in the room and I can't find them. Anyway, moving right into it, looking at the front of the box, we can see the huge-ass crazy belt, the four switches in the background, uh, fours and his huge spacey face that goes all the way up onto the top of the box, where you can see the rocket switch with its rocket arm, launcher, launcher, drill, and radar. Those are the four switches that this comes with. Over on here, we can see the belt, the switches, and four is doing some crazy upside down zero g stuff. On the other side, we can see his uh, crazy PlayStation appendages, the circle, X, triangle, square, and the belt, and four Astro Switch, four's driver. On the back, we have box contents up top. We have three, two, one. It's fours. We got the belt. The lever shows it's got the crazy lighting on it. Press down the buttons, flick the switches, limit brakes. Mentions the food droid. It mentions the candy toys, uh, capsule toys, the belt, and the Gamba ride. Because now the Gamba ride machines have slots for Astro switches. Anyway, um, oh yeah, send the bottom, whoop, uh, okay, on the bottom, half the belt, and the box contents, nothing fancy. So, let's get to it, what everyone has been waiting for, the Fours driver, in all of its Foursy goodness, and I've got to say, this thing, while being kind of bulky, looks wonderful, it's got this, uh, really nice, clear, well, not clear, but mostly clear. Kind of transparent, bluish plastic thing going on for the whole thing. So you can see into it pretty nicely. Uh, see some of the wires. The, uh, the terminals inside that the Astro Switch is attached to, which you can um, actually use some uh, chopsticks to uh, get different effects for different uh, switches that aren't out yet. Uh, the lever, as well as the terminal up here, is a nice black got some silver and some white for the lever, uh, darker gray, these nice uh, shiny red switches, some more silver here, a nice kind of circular design for the battery door on back, which is right here, takes three AAAs, a uh, nice little gold piece going on over here, the molding on this thing is just wonderful, your status screen here, speaker here, some molding, switch, so we'll set that down for a minute. We've got the other part of the belt. Yes, the entire belt detaches. They're still doing that awesome. You can see my belt extender. I've been wearing it. Um, the belt itself, clear plastic again with these little black dots here. Got the nice gray uh, belt, the loop, whatever you want to call it, and the other end. Button, press them in, pop it in. We've also got the four switches, starting from the number one, rocket switch, which is mostly black, got a nice sparkly uh, orange down here with the number one on a rocket. Got the, uh, the gold plug here, which is kind of a standard thing. And uh, this nice kind of smoky, transparent uh, switch up here that you push in for the switch, which we'll show you in a minute. Got the nice orange up there, and this is a circle switch, as you can tell by the vaguely circular shape going on here. We've got the Doncha switch with a nice sparkly blue, number two, got a launcher here, arrow, switch, nice blue X on the top. This switch is also, well, it's more of a, a darker black. Got the plug design like the other one. It looks awesome. Number three switch, the drill, 
which we've got kind of a triangle thing going on here. Got the switch, which goes like that. Uh, same kind of black coloring and gold for the plug there. The uh, They're really similar as far as the basic uh, design for them, which makes sense. Uh, got the drill, sparkly yellow, number three. We've got radar, number four, with the radar dish, if you can see it. Uh, got this weird kind of... Uh, cracky mouse wheel kind of switch up here that you turn. Other than that, the, the uh, design looks like the other ones, and it's square shaped. So, with that, oh, by the way, I brought along my uh, magic hand from my metal set, which I probably should have saved for when I did the metal set review, but whatever. It, the belt just came out. Let's check it out. Yeah. And what came with my food droid, the camera. Got this kind of weird switch up here. Number six. Got a picture of a camera on there. Silver top. We'll try those out too. Let's turn this belt on. Make some sounds. Screen pops up. And then we put the uh, switches in. Let's look at the screen up here. You hear a rocket, the, uh, the arm for the rocket lights up. Launcher, the leg lights up. Drill, the other leg lights up. And radar, with the other arm lighting up. Next, we flip the switches. Pull the lever, get some crazy sound effects, and it's space time. You've got the nice LED display up here with the arms, which, um, as I'll show you in a minute, will actually blink depending on which switches are on. Um, if you don't touch anything, this display will go off after about 30 seconds, but uh, I'm not waiting for that, so let's get right to it with the rocket switch. Get the rocket on. Rocket sound effect. Launcher on, and you can see the uh, switches that are on start blinking. If I turn a switch off, it stops blinking. Got the drill on and radar on. Now, depending on which switches you have set, when you pull the lever, it will do a uh, limit break. If you pull the lever without the switches, any switches set, then it'll do your henshin noise again. Also, if you flip any of these switches off and back on, you get the nice 3, 2, 1, and then henshin sound. So, let's demonstrate the uh, limit break. We'll just flip all of them for the sake of it. And then you hear what sounds like the birth driver going, LIMIT BREAK! Which is awesome. Of course, I don't see what kind of move could possibly be done with those. The finishing move that's actually been done in the show so far would be uh, rocket arm and drill leg for the crazy drill kicky thing. So let's look at these other switches I brought over. Pull the rocket switch out. And pop in the magic hand. And we got the magic guhando on, which is awesome. And then we've got for over here, reach over and get it, the camera. Camera. And you pop the uh, switch here. Get camera on, and then you flick it over to uh, turn it off. 
So basically then if you want to, um, I guess, dehension, you just flick each switch and then each limb goes off on the display up here. And then the whole LED goes off, which is uh, kind of cool. And then just do it again if you want to. I'm doing it again because I love it. Got the uh, nice seven color LED thing going on in here for the main body. Everything else is red. Um, that is actually about it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else with this uh, belt. Overall, it's a really interesting belt. Um, there's supposed to be a total of 40 Astro switches coming out. So far we have, I've just seen six. Um, I do intend to collect them all because that's the kind of obsessive person that I am. Um, that's about it. I've also got a burger meal kind of chilling over there. Quick little cameo appearance. Burger meal. I'll do a review of that if someone puts in a request. Otherwise, I'm probably going to go back to my blade stuff. Um, I hope you like the belt. I personally would buy it, uh, just because, uh, I love the sounds it makes. And even if you don't have any other switches, you can just, uh, pop a chopstick in there and kind of make your own sounds out of it. It's a lot easier to uh, to do that kind of thing with than uh, was with the O's driver. So um, definitely, I'd get it if uh, you're able to find one. They're probably sold out in a lot of places already. Um, it's probably going to run you somewhere between eighty dollars and up, I guess, depending on where you buy it from. But um, personally, I like it. I would get it. Uh, it's the first thing I'd say you can get without getting something else to go with it, if only because there's nothing else to go with it yet. The series just came out. Anyway, that will about end it here. If you uh, like the review, if you have any comments, requests, uh, comments, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, so that's about it. This review actually ran kind of long, um, I mean, probably because there's so much stuff that you can do with this belt. I, but um, yeah, that's about it for the Ford's driver. Um, I guess uh, I will see you all next time. I'm going to go play with this some more.